Hey guys, well the holiday season is in full swing, which means lots of holiday parties. Now if you're looking for a hostess gift that might be a little bit different than the standard bottle of wine, I've got you covered. I'm gonna share with you three of my favorite ideas, and the best part is most of this stuff can all be purchased at your local grocery store. Let me show you how to pull it together. Okay, so what I normally do is usually this time of year, I stock up on a few key items that really help me pull together a gift in a jiffy. And they are as follows. A couple of baskets in different sizes and textures, a few ribbons and things in different colors and widths, and I also like to have some raffia on hand, a few basic tea towels or napkins. These are really great for lining baskets with, some fake outdoorsy type decorations like evergreen, berries and pine cones, they're always good. A couple of inexpensive ornaments. I always look for the ones that look like they could be handmade or vintage. I think that they add a really nice charm to a gift package. Okay, so first up, I think a really lovely idea is to present your host or hostess with a set of olive oil and vinegar. I say zero in on the prettiest bottles you can find. They typically end up being the best quality too and you're gonna spend a few extra dollars on something good because it is a gift. Then you're gonna take the tallest bottle and tie a ribbon around the neck, and then I like to take a little piece of that fake evergreen and fasten it with a knot, and then affix a really cute, fun ornament, something that dangles nicely because the bottle is tall and it works really well for an ornament like a nutcracker. Tie it into a bow and then you're ready to go. And then I will take the smaller bottle and basically do the same thing, just leaving off an ornament. I find that you really probably only need one ornament for this set. There you have it, gift number one, done. And then for something a little bit bigger, I think the breakfast basket is a great way to go. Your host is probably gonna be tired the next day from hosting a big fabulous holiday party and they won't wanna think about breakfast. Instead, you thought of it for them. So for this, I'll take a medium sized basket Line it with a blue and white tea towel. I like the color combination of blue and white for holiday because to me it sort of reminds me of snow and ice and it's also a really fresh color combination for morning and breakfast. Then in my grocery store, I head to the bakery department. This is where you're gonna find the best bread. And I look for something that would make great toast, either an oatmeal loaf or a sourdough. I keep it in the plastic that it comes in because that's gonna keep the bread fresh, but I do like to pretty it up a bit and wrap it in some parchment paper. And don't worry, it can be a little unruly at first, but you can just kind of tape it down and tuck in the sides. I find the more rustic looking, the better. And then you're gonna fasten it up with a little bit of raffia and pop it in the basket. It'll just make the bread look a lot more charming that way. Then I also like to tuck in a little tin of coffee. And then I like to select two types of jam. And again, go for the brands that look the most premium because they usually are gonna have the prettiest jars. But if you do find yourself with a great looking jam that doesn't really have a pretty cap, what you can't do is take a decorative napkin or just some fabric, cover the top, and then tie it with some raffia. It'll look kind of homemade that way. And then you can tuck that in a basket. And then for some decoration. I think it's really fun when you have a basket that has a handle to it to affix a little ornament because it'll kind of just dangle there and look really pretty. Tie a nice big festive ribbon. And then to add some additional interest, I'll tuck in some pine cones and berries. And there you have it, gift idea number two, ready to go, a festive looking breakfast basket. And then my third idea for another basket you can get all at the grocery store is my Italian dinner basket. So chances are your host probably has a lot of family and friends coming through during the holidays and sometimes getting a quick and easy meal on the table can be a challenge. And this way she will think of you and your basket because you're gonna have everything in there for a delicious meal that'll come together in a jiff. So for this idea, we're gonna start with a large basket. I really like these wire mesh baskets because they feel very rustic and old world. We're gonna line it with a red and white tea towel. And then I like to add two types of pasta. And again, go for the things that look artisan and kind of more premium. And then maybe a box of gnocchi. Then I'll also include a big can of diced tomatoes. I really love the San Marzano brand. Not only are they delicious canned tomatoes, but the packaging is so festive too. Then we're also gonna tuck in a bottle of olive oil. Head to the produce aisle and grab a whole head of garlic. And then I also like to add a garlic press. So in the kitchen aisle where they have like all the tools and utensils, you can usually pick up a garlic press. I do take it out of that sort of cardboard packaging to make it look prettier and then just pop it in the basket. I'll also include a tube of tomato paste. I'll also take that out of the box because I think it just looks prettier with the tin. 
Then I'll also include a jar of red pepper flakes. Go for the ones that are in the glass jar. I think they look a little bit prettier and are better suited for a gift than the plastic ones. Now for some holiday decoration. I love to take this fake greenery that looks like sage because to me it looks like it's been a little bit frostbitten and feels wintry. And then for a little touch of whimsy, I do like to add these miniature Christmas trees. I think they're so cute and tucked in, they kind of remind me of the cypress trees of Italy. And then to finish it off with something green and fresh, I'll also add a fresh artichoke. And your guests can steam these and then serve it with a dipping sauce made from the olive oil, the garlic, and the red pepper flakes. I hope you guys give these ideas a try this season. You'll find that they're fun to do, and if you have some of these supplies already on hand, you can pull them together with just a trip to the local grocery store. All right, you guys, I'll see you back here next week for another edition of my Holiday Helper series. Until then, bye.